Okay, good afternoon everybody. Um, I'm Richard, I'm the CEO for Suffolk FA and this is one of a, the first edition of a new vlog that we're going to try and put on the website on a monthly basis um, to give you a bit of an insight into what Suffolk FA have been involved in in the month before, some ideas and thoughts for the month coming up um, and also maybe one or two thoughts on some kind of uh, wider footballing issues um, that is pertinent at the moment. And I guess we might as well start with England's um, sad semi-final defeat last night to Croatia. Um, I think before the tournament we'd have all taken a semi-final, um, get into a semi-final uh, with, uh, with open hands really. Um, and we should be very proud of the values that the players have, have shown uh, and the way that that's galvanised um, the, the, the public um, and the football community right throughout. We've seen a real kind of togetherness um, from players, team, and um, the public, which we probably haven't seen for a little while. What, what we do hope for Suffolk FA is that means that even more people will be energised to um, become referees, become coaches, uh, help out at clubs and leagues with administrative posts, um, whether that be chairman, secretaries, um, or, or any other opportunities that's available through clubs and leagues, um, or players. Um, and there's a standard and quality of the game that's appropriate to you right throughout the county as you want it, whether that's uh, in one of our fantastic grassroots clubs, youth or adult, um, boys or girls, or whether that is a more flexible offer like our Monday Night Football um, that goes on in Ipswich. Um, and we hope that you'll get involved in Suffolk football and we hope that, um, that, that, that you'll be energised to be involved. Um, for Suffolk FA, we realised that the last 12 months has been fairly transitional. Um, before then, I think it's fair to say we needed to improve the standard of service that we offered to the Suffolk football community. Um, and we've worked hard over the last 12 months to improve that. Um, I'm pleased to say that we've now got a full staff quota. Um, apart from the Inclusive Football Development Officer vacancy, which is a new vacancy and available now to apply until the 25th of July. So please uh, have a look at that on the Suffolk FA website. Um, and all of those staff are committed to providing a really high quality service to ensure that we are promoting a thriving local game. Uh, and a thriving local game is our new vision for Suffolk football. That's what we want to see every time. Uh, any of us turn up at a football match or training session. Um, we have really tried to ensure that from this season onwards we can um, provide the level of service that you want uh, and expect and if that doesn't happen at any point then please get in contact with me. My contact details um, are available on the Suffolk FA website. Um, last thing that I just want to add for this first edition is a huge congratulations to the Grassroots winners uh, for the Grassroots Awards this year um, and they just show exactly what is fantastic about Suffolk football. Um, huge congratulations and some of those will then go on to be uh, uh, considered for national awards. Thank you very much, that's the first edition um, and, uh, and we look forward to next month's edition um, in the CEO vlog.